All right, the truck is back and running good. We're just loading some hay here up at Hardy's. Beautiful weather. Nice to make some dry hay. Some pretty nice stuff. I don't know where he's going, but. So this trailer got safetyed. We got all new brakes and tires on it. It's a new machine. Had it for eight years now. I think so, anyways. Oh, since 2015. He's in good shape. Starting to rust a little bit there. So we do uh, too wide and too high. So we got to strap everything. We can put a strap in the middle on every bale. go load made strap down these ramps are pretty handy not to worry about them rolling off we just got one short strap no, it's not even that short it's just rusty I should be able to fit to the poke it on. It's nice fucking hay though. Alright, she's all unloaded. This is the tarp, or this is the coverall with a hole in the tarp. Now you ripped in the winter with this snow removal tool. So uh, we'll be getting a new tarp shortly four or five weeks they said as for now we're going for lunch Devin's got the 3150 all cleaned up he took it off the TMR he's gonna go rake with it while I haul hay again he hasn't gotten much love in a while he's just blowing the cab out A little bit dirty. All right, we're back from lunch. I'm all by myself now. Don't get the tractor here. Start making another load. Last load was a little bit slanted, so I'm trying to make this one straight. Got two more loads left, and we got. Hay wagon over there, that's full. This field's really rough. Can't wait till we plow this field up again there. We do it a little bit differently. Oh, well, there you go, a little load. Makes the truck look small, a big load like that. She can handle it though. Get everything strapped down. Hit the road. You know how I was uh, working on making the load straighter? Uh, this one wasn't straight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pretty crooked. It actually looked worse from inside the cab. It's not too bad. We got home in one piece. All right. Let's 
Smells like brakes. These are pretty heavy bales. All right, welcome back to another video, everybody. It's Sunday. Don't want to really be working, but I am. We're not working on the truck. We're working on the sprayer. Brother told me to hook on the sprayer and get it filled up while he's uh, spreading fertilizer on the corn, top dressing. And I noticed this bad boy. Big old crack on the, uh, well, it's just a support for folding it up. It's not all that important, but it's still worth fixing. So that's what we're gonna do quickly while he's, before he comes back and before the spreaders or the sprayer is ready to go, we're gonna just weld that up and uh, hopefully we can make it stronger and better than it was before. Okay, so uh, put a plate on top of it, <laughs> welded it in. It's pretty, uh, it was like 3 16 plate or something <coughs> or smaller. Not too sure, but it's thicker than the little sheet metal we had laying around. So uh, I'm just going to grind it all up, make it look good, and uh, maybe throw some paint on it if we have some. Probably the, try to get the right color on there. <coughs> Don't know if it's, uh, it's so smoky. You can see across, you can barely see the river. I always think something's on fire, but it's nothing around here just look at the paint and I get painted all over the place but I got the brush out and look at that doesn't even look like anything ever happened I did notice under here there's a crack though on this bottom weld but I figure it's it's pulling down all the weights pulling down so it's gonna want to you know tear the top off like it did but the bottom is really just gonna get compressed so in theory that should be all right whatever yeah not the exact same color, but who cares? I'm lucky I got some paint on this damn thing. So, we're gonna put everything away and uh, no one's gonna even know this ever happened. Quiet Sunday repairs. So that's all done. I'll show you the other side. The other side broke first. And uh, the guy we share the sprayer with, he welded it up first. So he just did multiple passes. And it seems to be holding, so looks pretty good. We'll just, uh, you know, do a walk around real quick. This 550 Hardy sprayer. All right, so we're just mixing everything up. We got some crimson that we put in. It helps us reduce the amount of Roundup that we need, and it makes the Roundup more, way, way more effective. Especially when you have hard water. So, let that mix for a little bit and we're gonna put the roundup in. There's an old diaphragm pump. That's the tow to roundup. And he just programs how many liters he wants at the end of that. Now comes the juice. See the bracket there? Beautiful. 